Hello, and welcome to this video on getting started with Crosslink Business, our new program that allows tax professionals to quickly and accurately complete 1065, 1120, and 1120S returns. The first and perhaps most important aspect of Crosslink Business is that it really is an extension of the great Crosslink program you've used to prepare 1040 individual returns. It features the same methodology, the same type of client data worksheet, and the same tools to help you prepare the tax return. Now, to get started on a business return, you simply choose Business Returns from the Work in Progress Summaries Tax Return section, then Add New from the toolbar. You will be prompted to provide and confirm the EIN number of the business, as well as what type of return you wish to prepare, 1065 Partnership, 1120 C Corp, or 1120 S Corp. Once in the return, you'll complete the client data, just like when doing an individual 1040 return. Please note that the interface will look just like Crosslink's 1040 program, with an attached forms list, a toolbar, and a menu bar, and even an active window featuring the ability to use choices, worksheets, and form links. After completing the client data, it's important to know both financial income statements and financial balance sheets Allow the tax professional to input data gathered from the business client, and that data will then accurately flow to the appropriate fields in the return itself. Other intuitive features of the program include forms automatically being added to the attached forms list when correlating data is input. The 1125A cost of goods form attached on this return being a great example of an added form based on information entered into the financials balance sheet. Similarly, information from worksheets carry to the actual tax return, whether working on a 1065, 1120, or 1120S. The program can also import financial data by way of return on the pull-down menu. Also from the return pull-down menu, you can switch the return type, facilitating your ability to provide information pertaining to tax implications based on business entity. In other words, what are the tax ramifications when filing as a partnership as opposed to as a corporation? Another nice feature is the K-1 Manager, which simplifies the process of inputting K-1 related information gathered from the client. It's also great to note the point-and-click error resolution is available during the verification stage, just like in the Crosslink 1040 program. And the same electronic signature feature found in Crosslink 1040 is also found in our business offering as well. In closing, remember the things that make Crosslink 1040 so user-friendly are also available in our new Crosslink business program. And they're available to you, the tax professional, whether you're working on a business 1065, 1120, or 1120S return. So, give it a try. It's easy to get started. Simply go to the Work in Progress Summary and click on Business Returns from the Tax Returns section. And as you're looking through our new Crosslink Business Program, please know that all of us at Crosslink hope that you're as excited about trying the new program as we are to offer it.